Lord Jesus, we adore you truly present in the Blessed Sacrament, and we adore you here and at all the altars and tabernacles of the world. And we ask that all who profess faith in you as Lord and Savior may come to know your real presence in the Eucharist. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Grant that we may be open to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to minister to him and those in need. And grant that we may be united especially in this, in communion in this most holy sacrament. And since we are not able at this time to receive your son sacramentally, we ask that he come at least spiritually into our hearts. And as he is already there, we embrace him in love and ask that we might grow more and more in faith, hope, and love. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God is faithful, and by him you were called into communion with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. 
1 Corinthians 1 9. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love will never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord who has mercy on you. Isaiah 54 10. And let us sing the O saving victim, O salutaris, Ostia. O saving victim, open wide the gate of heaven to us below. Our foes press on from every side. Your aid supply, your strength bestow. To your great name be endless praise. Immortal God, head one in three, O oh, grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we ask that we might be open to the power of the Holy Spirit. And as we spend this moment, these moments in silent meditation, fill our hearts with greater love for you, for your Father and for the Holy Spirit. And in that love, greater love for all. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Companions with him in suffering, you will share his overflowing happiness. Companions with him in suffering, you will share his overflowing happiness. Psalm 126, Joyful Hope in God. Alleluia, Alleluia. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. Alleluia, Alleluia. The heathen themselves said, what marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. Alleluia, Alleluia. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Alleluia. Alleluia. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
Alleluia. Companions with him in suffering, you will share his overflowing happiness. Alleluia. You are God's building. Alleluia. You are God's building. Alleluia. Psalm 127. Apart from God, our labors are worthless. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. Alleluia. Alleluia. In vain is your early arising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Alleluia. Alleluia. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are God's building. Alleluia. May the Lord bless you from Zion. Alleluia. May the Lord bless you from Zion. Alleluia. Psalm 128. Happiness of family life rooted in God. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Alleluia. Alleluia. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of her, your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Alleluia. Alleluia. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem. On Israel, peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. May the Lord bless you from Zion. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of the Apostle John. Christ, risen from the dead, will never die again. Alleluia. Death no longer has power over him. Alleluia. Beloved, if God has loved us so, we must have the same love for one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet if we love one another, God dwells in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. The way we know we remain in him and he in us is that he has given us of his spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by you, the builders, has become the cornerstone. Ah, alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Ah, alleluia. As the Father has loved me, so I loved you. Live on in my love. Ah, alleluia. A reading from the first letter of Peter from the third chapter, the 21st and 22nd verses. 
You are now saved by a baptismal bath. This baptism is no removal of physical stain, but the pledge to God of an irreproachable conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He went to heaven and is at God's right hand. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia, when they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, from the third chapter, the first and second verses. Since you have been raised up in company with Christ, set your heart on what pertains to higher realms, where Christ is seated at God's right hand. Be intent on things above rather than on things of earth. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete, Alleluia, Alleluia. He will teach you all things, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. Alleluia, Alleluia. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in speech. Alleluia, Alleluia. He who searches hearts knows what the Spirit means, for the Spirit intercedes for the saints as God himself wills. Alleluia. Alleluia. God of power and mercy, send your Holy Spirit to live in our hearts and make us temples of his glory. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things, mercifully give us faith to perceive that, according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of the ages. Your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended to heaven, so that we also may, in heart and mind, there ascend and be with him continually. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph as he ascended into your kingdom in heaven. He who died for us and rose for us now intercedes for us at your right hand. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting, forever and ever. Amen. O God, you taught the hearts of your faithful 
by sending into them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us openness to your Holy Spirit. Give us that same Spirit to have right judgment and true knowledge in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort and challenge. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life, I adore you and humbly acknowledge here in the presence of Jesus Christ, truly present in the sacrament of the Eucharist. I acknowledge that without you and the Son and the Father, I am nothing and can do nothing good. Without the life and the breath that you give. Come, Advocate, and guide into all truth. Come, source of strength and wisdom. Come and fulfill the promise of our Savior that we would not be left as orphans. Come and enter into my mind and heart as on the day of the first Pentecost. Grant that I might also receive the gifts poured out upon the disciples and the Blessed Mother of Jesus, Mary, our mother, true mother of God incarnate, make us more and more truly your sanctified people. Amen. Take from my heart all that is not pleasing to you, and make my heart a ready dwelling place for Jesus. Illumine my mind that I may see and understand the things that are for my eternal well-being. Give me especially this day the gift of knowledge and receive my prayers and petitions and receive under your, the protection all those important to me in my life and all who cross the paths of my life. Kindle in my heart the pure love of God. Teach me to love God above all things and through all things. That I may receive all things with gratitude and use them for God's purposes. Strengthen my will that it may be conformed to the will of my Creator and guided by your holy inspiration. Aid me to practice the virtue seen in the earthly life of Jesus. Amen. Descend upon me, Almighty Spirit, that inspired and encouraged by you, I may faithfully fulfill the duties of my life and vocation, that I may carry my cross with patience and courage and accomplish more nearly your perfect will, growing daily, in your gift of knowledge and knowledge of, of, of God and of his faith and of his ways. Make me day by day more holy and give to me that heavenly peace which the world cannot give. Amen. O Holy Spirit, you are the giver of every good and perfect gift. Inspire my prayer and grant me the intention which moves me to pray earnestly with hope and expectation for deeper reception of your holy gifts, O Holy Spirit, and especially today, the gift of knowledge. O Holy Spirit, come to us. A reading from Romans 8. The Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray 
but the Spirit intercedes for us in sighs too deep for words. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Holy Spirit, love divine, glow within this heart of mine. Kindle every high desire, perish sin in your true fire. Holy Spirit, peace divine, still this restless heart of mine. Speak to calm this tossing sea. Stayed in thy tranquility. Holy Spirit, joy divine, gladden thou this heart of mine. In the desert ways I sing, spring, O oh well, forever spring. O come, O Spirit of Knowledge. Come, O Spirit of Knowledge, grant that I may know and accept the will of God, that recognizing the true value of the things of this world, I may use them rightly, and always with thanksgiving. Amen. O Holy Ghost, grant me the gift of knowledge, that I may judge all things according to their true worth, and despise what is to be despised, and love what is to be loved. Amen. O Holy Spirit, you moved on the face of the waters in the beginning of creation. So quicken me to new life as you inspire the prophets and gave them insight and eloquence. So flood my imagination with your light as you rested upon the only begotten at his baptism in the river Jordan. So stir up in me the gifts given in baptism and confirmation. As you poured out gifts to enliven the church on the first Pentecost. So fill me with your light and truth, that I may live and speak the gospel. Come, indwelling spirit, and heal the lurking distemper of my heart. Infuse with thy gra your grace the wellsprings of my life. Amen. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people, and enkindle in them the fire of your love.
O Holy Spirit, pour out upon me and the whole church your divine gifts. O Spirit of God, of light and of love, to you I consecrate my understanding, my heart and my will, my whole being. Fill me with true knowledge and a thirst for true knowledge. May I grow daily in knowing and experiencing my God and in knowing his ways, in knowing your truth, in knowing your goodness. O Holy Spirit, under your knowledge, under your wisdom, under your counsel, may my understanding always be submissive to your heavenly will, to your most gracious inspirations, and to the teachings of the Holy Church, of which you are the infallible guide. May my heart ever be on fire with love of the Holy Trinity and love of my neighbor. May my will always be in harmony with the will of God. Deepen not only knowledge of faith, of truth, of love, but the will to apply that knowledge and the thirst to grow ever more and more in that knowledge. May my whole life be a faithful copy according to my vocation of the life and virtues of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And it is only you, O Holy Spirit, that can instill these in our lives. For to you, who are God equal with the Son and the Father, we give adoration with the same Father and Son forever and ever. Amen. O oh, come, O oh Holy Spirit, with your gift of knowledge. Your gift of knowledge enables us to evaluate the things of this earth in relation to God, in relation to your teaching, in relation to your goodness and truth. Give us this knowledge that reveals to us the insignificance and emptiness of all created things apart from you. Help us to see and use them through the eyes of Christ. May we be the hands of Christ in applying your knowledge. May we use things only as means to our ultimate goal of heaven, and of growth in love and in service to others. May no thing be a goal in itself. For the gift of knowledge helps us to prioritize our life's values and put first things first. May we come to a knowledge of Jesus by the light of your knowledge. May we come to know and serve the Father. May the eyes of our hearts be enlightened by your gift of knowledge so that we will come to know what the hope is to which you call us. Amen. O come, Spirit of knowledge, 
Grant that I may always see the things of this earth as a means to serve God and my neighbor. Show me how to glorify God in every circumstance of my life and to cherish the friendship of God beyond all else in hope of eternal reward, which you promise to those who are faithful. Amen. O oh, come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful with the gift of knowledge and kindle in us the fire of your love, that we may proclaim the kingdom of God in word and deed. And may this knowledge not be left behind, but truly applied in every area of our lives. We ask this by your power through the Son of the Father with both of whom you are one and equal, infinite and eternal, one God forever and ever. Amen. O come, O Holy Spirit of knowledge, for you are all wise and all knowing. Search the deep things of God for us and make known to us the mind of our Lord, the Eternal Son, who became one of us, Jesus Christ, who died for us, who rose for us, and who ascended to heaven to intercede for us with the Father. Impart to us now your gift of knowledge. Deepen that knowledge. Deepen our commitment to growing in knowledge so that we may be enabled to love and serve you always with the Son and the Father and to serve Jesus in all those we encounter in life. In Christ's name, we ask this of the Father, that you pour this gift upon us, O Holy Spirit, for you are one God with them in the Holy Trinity, one God of one essence and substance, of one nature, yet of diverse person and distinct forever and ever. Amen. 1 Corinthians 1.27 God chose those whom the world considers absurd to shame the wise. He singled out the weak to shame the strong. The prayer to the Holy Spirit attributed to St. Augustine of Hippo. O divine love, sacred bond uniting the Father and the Son, almighty spirit, faithful comforter of the afflicted, penetrate the depth of my heart and fill it with the brightness of your light. Send upon this desert, which is my soul, the sparkling dew of your grace, and make fruitful that which has long been barren. Let the fiery darts of your love reach the sanctuary of my soul, and entering in, set it on fire with so bright a flame that all my weakness, neglect, and languor may be consumed in the passion of thy gentle embrace. Come, O oh come, sweet comforter of desolate souls, refuge in danger and defender in distress. Come with your gifts of penitence and healing of wounds. Come, O oh strength of the weak, Come, teacher of the humble. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen. May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, cleanse our hearts and make them fruitful with the plenteous dew of your blessing. Through Christ our Lord, we ask you, O Father. Amen. O Lord, gracious Spirit, bond of unity within the Holy Trinity, Love of the Father and the Son, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, anointing Spirit, 
who at the baptism of Jesus in the waters of the Jordan did shine forth and appear as a dove, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, fire divine, kindle our hearts that we may ever be equally able and ready to proclaim you. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, and the brightness of your spirit illumine our inward souls, that our cold hearts may be kindled and our dark minds enlightened for, thy, for thy mercy's sake. Amen. Grant, O gracious Father, that your Holy Spirit poured out by your Son, may enlighten and cleanse our hearts, and that through the abundance of the Spirit's gifts, we may be fruitful in all good works. Deepen, O Lord, the gift of wisdom, of understanding, of counsel, of fortitude, of knowledge, of piety, of awe. O come, Holy Spirit, We believe in you, O Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. Deepen our faith and help our unbelief. Amen. O Holy Spirit, May the Father's will be done in and through me. May I follow more and more the call of Jesus Christ, my Lord. And, O oh, mighty Spirit of the living God, move within me constantly. And may you, with the Father and the Son, be alone adored forever and ever. To you be glory and praise without end now and beyond the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, Jesus, Eucharistic Lord, we adore you here in the Blessed Sacrament. Help us to become more and more, by the power of the Holy Spirit, to be people of adoration, to be people of joy, to be people of faith, hope, and love. We ask this of the Father in your name, for you are our one mediator. In the power of the other advocate, the Holy Spirit, with whom and the Father you are one God forever and ever. Amen. Come, O Holy Ghost, Creator, come from thy bright heavenly throne. Come take possession of our souls and make them all thine own. Thou who art called the paraclete, best gift of God, Above the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. 
thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand. His promise, teaching little ones to who speak and to who understand. O oh, guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts in a flame, and with thy strength which ne'er decays, confirm our mortal frame. Drive from us far our deadly foe, true peace unto who us bring, and from all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the eternal Son, and thee the Spirit of them both, through his blessed three in one. All oh, glory who the Father be, with his co-equal Son, the same to thee, paraclete, while endless ages run. Veni, Creator Spiritus, Mentes Tuorum Visita, in place super na gratia, que tu creasti pectora. Amen. A reading from Romans 8, verse 11. If the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead will bring your mortal bodies to life also through his Spirit dwelling in you. O come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of all believers and overcome with your gift of knowledge and especially your gift of love, all the divisions among Christians. Indeed, all hatred and animosity and separation among all people. Set us on fire with your love. Though we speak many languages and are of many types, make us one united the nations the nations in professing the fame, same faith you have overturned the divisions and incomprehension of babel come holy spirit fill the hearts of all believers and set them on fire with your love amen Father, Lord of earth and heaven, King to whom all gifts belong, give your greatest gift your spirit, God the holy, God the strong. Son of God, enthroned in glory, send your promised gift of grace, make your church your holy temple, God the spirit's dwelling place. Spirit, come in peace descending, as at Jordan, heavenly dove. Seal your church as God's anointed. Set our hearts on fire with love. Stay among us, God the Father. Stay among us, God the Son. Stay among us, Holy Spirit. Dwell within us, 
make us one. The Litany of the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, come into my heart. Shed the brightness of your light on all nations, that they may be one in faith, in hope, and in love, and pleasing to you in all their actions and attitudes. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. The response is, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, hear us. O Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy upon us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. God, the Holy Ghost, the Inspirer, have mercy upon us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy upon us. Holy Spirit, proceeding from the Father and the Son, have mercy upon us. Holy Spirit, equal with the Father and the Son, have mercy on us. Have mercy upon us. O Holy Ghost, who did give Mary power to conceive the Son of God, have mercy upon us. O Holy Ghost, who appeared at the baptism of Jesus as a heavenly dove, have mercy upon us. O Holy Ghost, who descended upon the apostles on the day of Pentecost, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Holy Ghost, who dwell in us, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Holy Ghost, who govern the church, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Holy Ghost, who fill the whole world, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. Holy Ghost, we beg you to hear us, that you would renew the face of the earth, have mercy upon us that you would shed your light into our hearts, have mercy upon us. That you would inflame us with your love, have mercy upon us. That you would open to us the treasures of your grace, have mercy upon us. That you would make us obedient to your inspirations, have mercy upon us. That you would help us to love and bear with one another, have mercy upon us that you would teach us to pray, and you yourself pray within us. Have mercy upon us. That you would cause us to persevere in righteousness. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. O Father, through your Son, pour out your Spirit upon us. Have mercy on us. O Father, through your Son, send down your Holy Spirit upon us. Have mercy on us. O Father, through your Son, grant to us your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that your divine spirit may enlighten, inflame, and cleanse our hearts, and that his indwelling presence may fill us and make us fruitful in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Holy Spirit, pour out your grace upon us. Enlighten our hearts and senses. Fill us completely. Amen.
tantum ergo, down in adoration falling, this great sacrament we hail, over ancient forms of worship, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith will tell us Christ is present when our human senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who made us free and the Spirit God proceeding from them each eternally be salvation, honor, blessing, might and endless majesty. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven. Alleluia. Having within it all sweetness. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of all, we bow before thee, all on earth thy scepter claim, all in heaven above adore thee, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign, hark the love Celestial hymn, angel choirs above are raising cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus raising, fill the heavens with sweet accord. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, who are everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of all blessings and giver of life, come dwell within us and cleanse us of every stain. O saving Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let's see who's waving today. Father Matt Westcott, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Father Paul Ring, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Father Jim Bologi, Christ is in our midst and is and always will be. James J. Kahn, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Timothy Mills, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Kate O'Neill, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Judith Walling, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Chris Bernica, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. So let's continue to pray for each other. For Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. The Holy Spirit has been poured out into us. May we cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Yield to the Holy Spirit's true inspiration. And ever live and apply the teachings of the Holy Spirit through his church ever meditate upon Holy Scripture and apply the teachings of Holy Scripture and live according to the Holy Tradition. Amen. Alleluia.